dear students learning by doing enriches the understanding of mathematical concepts today we are going to perform an activity to verify that by joining the midpoints of the sides of any quadrilateral we obtain a parallelogram to do this activity we need some material like colored chart papers colored pens a roll of thread and a pair of scissors so let's start this activity first take any quadrilateral a b c d we will first find the midpoints of the sides ab bc cd and da to find the midpoint of the side ab we will fold ab in such a way that point a coincides with point b unfold and mark the midpoint of ab as p similarly we will find the midpoints of side bc name it as q in the same way cd name it as r and then d and name it as s we will now join these points p q r s and we will do so by paper folding so let's start by joining p q so students after folding p q we will fold q r rs and sp in the same manner we will get this kind of a cut out so what do we see we observe that by joining the midpoints of the sides of any quadrilateral we have obtained another quadrilateral p q r and s this is a specific quadrilateral and we will find this out by exploring its properties to do so let's take a piece of thread and place it on pq cut this piece of thread equal to the length of pq now place this piece of thread on sr what is observed it is observed that pq and sr are equal in length we will do the same for the other pair of opposite sides take a piece of thread and place it on qr cut it and we will place the same piece of thread on ps what do we observe we again observe that ps and qr are equal in length thus pq is equal to sr ps is equal to qr students we know that a quadrilateral with both the pair of equal opposite sides is a parallelogram so yes thus we conclude that by joining the midpoints of the sides of any quadrilateral we obtain a parallelogram students in this case we had taken a b c d as any general quadrilateral what if we take a b c d as a rectangle do the same activity on abcd which is a rectangle mark midpoints p q r and s join the midpoints by paper folding yes obviously we will obtain a parallelogram but this is a specific parallelogram we will again explore the properties of p q r s using a piece of thread so take a piece of thread equal to the length of pq 
place it on QR, then place it on SR and then place it on SP. As you all can see that PQ, QR, SR and SP all are equal in length. So students, we observed that by joining the midpoints of the sides of a rectangle, we obtained a rhombus. What if instead of taking a rectangle, we had taken a rhombus? By joining the midpoints of the sides of a rhombus, what special type of a parallelogram would we obtain? Try this for yourself. Thank you.